Babalikan po natin ang pagdinig sa Senado. Dumako muna tayo sa Misamis Oriental kung saan nagtatalumpati si Pangulong Duterte sa kanyang pagdalo sa pagpapasinaya sa Misamis Power Plant. Panoorin natin ito. The comment here sa Energy House. Abdul Khair Ta Alunto is one of the cabinet members who are here. Mrs. Mercedes Gutiannon, the chairperson, Andrew Gutiannon, Josephine, Jonathan Michael, Edward Gutiannon, Mr. Jesus Alcorda, chairperson of the board, Mr. Mar Mario Pangilinan, Mayor Jenner Rosaliti, Oi, Mayor Hecate Fernando Giudimano, my beloved countrymen, Good afternoon. You know, well, I'm talking about this, uh, the newest plant, and congratulating the Gochanon family for their sheer enterprise, not only in the development of the Philippines, but sharing the money to help the Philippines raise the standard of living. Uh, one of the few nakita ko na, well, The, the, the big ones are really big, and they are big because maybe God gave them so much. So that's also they can help so much of our fellow men. Wala na kayo masyad nung problema in about years to come, but again, the second and third generation would still suffer if we are not able to really utilize the, what they would say, the solar and the wind, and I don't know where. Lamo, uh, this will be again, I said, tallied against the statistics of the EU. Tapos, they would again start to compute the carbon footprints dito. Ganon yan yung, you know, I had this argument with the, the EU early on. Hindi pa ako ng off ng office. This went to see me, and it's about the... Uh, Well, the the campaign to reduce uh, uh, carbon in this planet because of uh, the so many changes in the weather, and uh, it was the Kyoto Conference. It was signed, but uh, last to sign was I think China, Russia, and the United States, and most of the heavily industrialized countries. That is where I said the hypocrisy and sometimes the stupid inconsistency itong mga industrial powers. They want to lower, but they also want us to go lower than usual. So they would want to delay the limit and we cannot raise higher than the ratio that we've been using you are used to. So, pagka mag... Sala, saka tagamay. Now, if we want to industrialize our country, because we were left behind by so many generations, you have to keep up with developments. And the vow right now to use is coal. Why? Barato, it's available, although it is uh, maybe deleterious to the whole of the climate of planet Earth. Now, this is the problem. Sila started very early. So, upon uh, the dawn of the industrialized uh, era of this planet, sila yung mabibilis and they consumed oil, the fossil fuel, oil, bunker, lahat, diesel, sila yung tumakas na da. Sila yung bumubuga and they took them years to do it. Now that they have changed the climate because we were then poor and we had nothing, gusto lang ngayon tayo, gusto natin umabot rin sa kanilang parang kayamanan. Pero sabi lang, wag, wag masyado kasi nagpupulyot tayo ng air. Kami mag-control, kayo kontrolin, pero kung anong atas, huwag kang sumugra. Sumunod ka serisyo and proportion. Ay sabi ko mga gago talaga. Umalis kayo dyan? 
Kaya galit sila sa akin. Nga, they want me to investigate the human rights. Katawaan na ng mga puti. So what we do now is we go to China. And rightly so. China is, is in good faith. Eh, yung historical naman na, historical naman yan. Sabi na, hindi naman yung kanya. Na mga leaders ngayon. So, there is the arbitral uh, judgment because may contest yan. But nung nanalo na tayo, may dalawang options. We go to war para kunin natin or we talk in peace. Remember that anong pinag-awaya niyan is that territorial. Ang territorial natin at lahat ng bansa sa buong mundo, it's the 12 mile limit from the coastal shores where the water would rush in and rush out during high tide or low tide. Itong dito sa Scarborough is the entitlement. Lahat namang bayan sa buong mundo, we agreed na mayroon sarili tayong fish fund. Ang, ang ating dyan, ang sinabi ng China kasali sa kanila, yung ating fish fund. Lahat ng, sa mundo may sariling fish fund. So that is the sovereign entitlements mga isda, marine life. Kasi yung tubig ganon, sa ilalim yan, ito yung coastal. Sure. Sa ilalim niya, tawag nila kantil, yun yun, may tubig pa yan. So pag gano'n yan, sa, these are what you would call the continental ship. Hindi yung, yung pagkita mo dyan, maglakad ka sa beach, na dyan, bis mga wala ng lupa. May lupa pa sa ilalim niyan, meron pa yung papunta ng, that is the continental ship. And that is the basis of our claim for the sovereign entitlements. So, hindi naman tayo pwede mag-gera. Mag-usap na muna tayo. And there will be a time. There is always a time in this world. A time to talk, a time to war. A time for bloody, and a time for to be purified. It's not the time because we cannot depend on anybody except us. I do not expect You, United States, to die for us. So we'll just have to navigate our way around here. Me, I'm willing to talk. I'm going to China because I want. Then, kung kami na lang doon, I will present the problem to him and I'll say This piece of paper, the Trevor Award, we do not go out of the four corners of this paper. We talk. Ganoon, pero hindi ang patapagtapangan tayo Negosyo na lang. Kita mo, tulong sinagawa ng power plant. Can just imagine if we can get their help in the years to come. It's not territorial. Kung territorial, matagal na tayo nagpapatayan dyan. It's the of sovereign entitlement. But one of the things that I would demand, if I go to the mainland China, is give us back our fishing rights. That's one. Not non-negosyo. Pobre among mga kababayan eh. To then, whatever, kung gas, meron doon ang agreement between China and the Philippines during the time of, you know, who's the representative's energy? Di ba? Oh. Hands up ka, agar, ma-absent ka. <laughs> We had this uh, uh, scientific, uh, you know, it was supposed to be, Actually, it was just uh, legalist, tokatis lang yun, dip diplomatic way. Or really, towards a joint venture. Nung umakyat si Aquino, tinabla niya. So kaya galit ang China. Galit talaga sa kanya. Ngayon, sabi ko sa, usap tayo. But there will be a time. But just like what the Bible says, mga Kristyanos, there is always a, Time to talk, a time to be nice, a time to be ugly, a time to be ugly, a time to be beautiful, a time for peace, a time for war, a time to be born, and a time to die. Hindi natin pwede bigla-bigla ito. 
So we would like to thank China, the Chanon family of Chinese ancestry, mine also, and uh, we would only aspire for one nation. I will not obey to the unreasonable mandates of whatever my EU, EU, then. EU, the Kaya 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 gani, basta maliit ka. Why not me? Kaya ngayon, example ko lang, palis na ako, there's human rights. Davao was very topsy-turvy. When I became mayor, I said, kayong mga kriminal, mga durugista, mga addict, mga good upper, umalis kayo. Kasi pag hindi, talagang mamatay kayo. Now, bakit nga maraming patay? You know why? Hindi yan sinasalvage. Kagaya niyang sa Manila ngayon. Kasi ang polis talaga takot yan. Anak ka ng... You should know because I was a prosecutor, a vice mayor, mayor, congressman, presidente na ngayon. Kung bakit, ayawang ko dumating ako dyan. Pero basta ganun ang laro. Takot talaga ang polis noon. Kung hindi mo sabihan ang polis, hul hulihin mo, go after them, arrest them, and if they present a violent resistance, kill them. Yan. With those words, maraming patayang dabaw. But yung lumaban talaga, namamatay. Pero sabihin mo, napatay ko, nakatali ang kamay sa likod ko. Those were the handiwork of their co-conspirators dyan sa droga. Kasi bago kami nag-umpisa, sabi ko, hulihin mo ito, tapos ituro mo yung isa ang nagpiakit sa'yo. Uh, yung isa naman, ituro mo siya yung nag nagpabilis ayo. So yung binabalot na ano, yun yung tinotorture. Hindi trabaho ng gobyerno yan. Bakit may balot na ano? Hindi naman nagpapodos ng mami ang gobyerno. Eh, barilin mo lang dyan. Iwanan mo, kung gusto mo talang extrajudicial. But most of them were really, because ang polis uh, talagang agresibo na. Kasi sinabi ko, go! At saka kung ano ang mangyari, as long as it is in the performance of your duty, duty connected, and when your life is in danger, patayin mo. Huwag kang mamatay kasi pagdating ko, ikaw ang barilin ko. Totoo. That is really my language. Ngayon, they've been using it. No, ngayon, hanggang ngayon, doon sa iyo, that is known to issue warnings of killing criminals, sabi ko, fuck you. Why are you threatening me, including itong rapporteur ng Amerika? Why are you complaining so much about me threatening the criminals of the drug syndicate? If you consider the fact that we have now 3,700,000 drug addicts, by that number alone, it would tell you it's a very serious crime. Tignan mo ngayon na wala nang addict. 60% reduced ng kriminal. Wala, pero maraming patay. Pero yung mga adik, kasi yung adik, 6 months to 1 year magamit ng siyabo. Either magsuside yan sa kagawa nila o mag, mag hold up. Mag But in the end, yung may pera, anon, ayun, mar mar maraming pamilya. Even in Davao. Basta ma itong mayayaman na, ano, hindi na sila kailang magnakaw, magpatay. Hindi na kailang mag... And they see the hopelessness of that. Yan, yan. Yan ang totoo niya. Ito mga Amerikano, pabutabungol. Takutin pa ako na... In... Bakit hindi ko sila putahin? Noong mayor ako, it was all right for them to criticize me. You know, you have a mayor in that uh, Mindanao Island who's very 
talkative about killing so easy. Okay lang yun. Kano presidente ako, lecturan ako ng putang ina niya, ang raportor. Tapos sabihin na kayo ang lagi. You know, there is no crime at all in the Philippines which says, I cannot threaten criminals or else I will go to prison. Walang crime nagsabi nga bawal magsabi ka kriminal. Kayong mga terorista. Kayong mga... Tapos ako ang... Sila... Sinabi na doon sa, they went into Iraq on the excuse of weapons of mass destruction. Pinatay nila si Saddam. Iraq is no longer a state. They undermined Libya. Binubomba nila ang Syria patay pati mga bata. Wala lang mang... Kaya today I announce sa International Al Jazeera. I am inviting the United Nations. Si Bangke. Ano ang pangalan niyang yawa niya? Bangke Moon, Bangke San. I am inviting the EU. Yung pinakamahusay, send the best lawyers of your town. Pati ang mga rapporteurs, pumunta sila sa Pilipinas. I will write them a letter to invite them for an investigation. But, in keeping with the time-honored principle of the right to be heard, matapos nila akong tanungin, tanungin ko sila. Sila, isa-isahin ko sila. You, you, uh, In open forum, you can use the Senate or the Folk Art Center, whatever. Everybody will be invited. Tapos manood kayo. Tingnan niyo kung paano ko lampasuhin yung mga yawa nyan. Ano ba? Una ko lang tanong sa reporter. I killed thousands. Or what was the name of the first victim? What happened? Where? For what reason? How was it done? What time was it? Eh, kung si Obama, papatay yung mga blacks doon. Kahapon, may binaril na naman na African-American. Kaya magpadala ako ng raportor bukas doon sa Amerika. Tanongin itong bakit pinagbabarili niya itong mga item dito? Ano? Tapos sabi ng Britain, sabi ng Germany, di warning nila yung Arabs. You stop because we will bomb you. Ang tinatakot ko mga kriminal, itong inyo, mga bayan ng mundong ito, ang mga kawawang Arab, mga Muslim, pinag-aapi-api ninyo. The Middle East is a destroyed part of the planet na wala na talagang wala kasi yan sila kaya ako nag, nag, nagmumura kasi kung sila akala mo with all the pontification and every word that they, they utter they would like it to be treated as an ex cathedra thing kung sila marunong tayo binababoy bakit ganun? Politika yan eh. Galing yan sa Dabao. It started in Dabao as a political issue. As a matter of fact, go to Dabao, yung DDS is not really, DDS was during the time, is paro versus the DDS of government. Yan, hindi akin yan. Tapos inadapt nila na adapt sa akin, sinakyan naman itong mga oposisyon nung eleksyon. Okay lang yun. Ngayon hanggang ngayon, kita mo. Dilema, she was seven years chairman of the human rights. Binibira niya ako. Hindi ba nagpahil ng kaso? Secretary of Justice? 
she was build, building a name at my expense para mang popular. So what now? She was not only screwing her driver, she was screwing the nation. Yan ang down. Kita mo na. O ngayon, sana yung human rights. Kaninong papel ginamit ninyo para sa investigation? From where were the papers? Kaya mahirap yan ganun. Nakita mo. So, after all, kaya sabi ko six months, because at the time when I said, I need, I need another six months, yun yung pinahon, pinahon sinabi ko kay Dilima, you better hang yourself. Kasi nand, nandito na sa mga kamay ko yung... Sinabi ito nila, tinignan ko na. So all the while, because of her uh, propensity for sex, ayun. Ngayon lang ako nakita na babae na, na lumabas sa buong social media na kangiti ipang buang. Para maragoy na hitabo. <laughs> Putang ina kong nanay ko yan, barilin ko. God. Yan nga, that is a lesson to be learned sa mga. Tapos sabi nito mga abo na BB plus credit. Walang pakialam sa inyo. I'm uh, formulating a new foreign policy. I'll be neutral. At saka yung sabi ng Amerikano, magpatrol-patrol dyan sa China Sea. I will not allow the armed forces to do that. Stop it. Why should we go to go into joint patrol? Tapos nagkagirap. Pag nagkagirap, saan ang battleground? Di ang palawan. Kalukuhan yan. Magira lang kayo dyan. Okay na kami dito pa. Inagreet, inagreet na lang kami. <laughs> Kung meron kami nito, you know, I'd really be happy if I, I get to be invited so many hundreds of kilometers away. I would still go down. If it's the elephant, you know, you know itong electricity. It is really the carabao. Pag wala kang, wala kang energy, patay ka. And to me, this would alleviate, including this Abanga Peninsula. Hirap talaga sila doon. Almost every now and then, hindi ng tulong for a redistribution of the power from the grid. Uh, but with uh, the surplus now, hindi nga surplus, kulang pa rin eh. But more or less, may stabilize na. For now. But we never thought that Mindanao would develop so fast that uh, in a few years, would be starting again to tinker with the... Uh, but maybe in the fullness of God's time, we would have something like a solar or uh, better technology, but not expensive. Walang question yan. They are available. But whether or not we can operate them at a cost that would give you the return of investment for a few years, I, I don't think so. Well, I, I'm not trying to be a, an actuarial uh, thing here, but mahirapan. So, hindi naman kasi ang mga investors, they want to get back a little of something. Maybe on the third year, fourth year, they would have the profits back slowly. But uh, if you're saying that it, itong ano, ganitong klaseng, it takes time, it takes money. But again, I would like to thank the Luciano family for this plant and everybody connected with it. And the Chinese, uh, you will see me more often in China. Saka totoo lang, pag iniaya ka dito sa mga uh, Asia, country, makita naman ninyo ang preparation sa bangket. Doon, buhugan ka lang yung sagbutanan o mga salad sa alad. Dito na lang ako. Dendya na lang kayo. So again, uh, I'm here. I'm happy to be here. I think this would be, I would have the command conference uh, with the police. Uh, just a reminder to them also that uh, I'm not happy with uh, what has happened. I give them a more... Uh, uh, ganito ha. In a scale of 1 to 10, we have, uh, uh, we have achieved something like about five.
But most of the drug ngayon, even dito, Sir Gayan, if you want drugs, your source, your source of uh, communication, the critical communication will come from your jails. Ang transaction dito sa droga sa Pilipinas, almost 95% still be in cook inside prisons. Puro Chinese. Kaya kung dito maghinta itong mga yawa, ano ito, ibahog ko na sa boiler niya. Sabihin mo sa kanila? Translate mo? I have no problem. My father was a... My grandfather... Chinese yun. My grandfather was really Chinese. When he was naturalized, he took after the name of his lawyer, Attorney Roa. My mother was in Maranao, taga Iligan. Pero yung mga half-sister niya, talagang Roa rin. He was really a Roa, but he was really Chinese also. Most of the time, when there was this naturalization proceeding, yan ang ginagawa nila eh. Ina-adapt nila ang mga pangalan ng mga abogado nila. So wala akong problema dyan sa mga Chinese na yan. Papaghinto, eh, bahog ko na atan lang dyan. So I'm happy again. Uh, I won in this place. I'd like to thank you for uh, giving me the support. <laughs> Sabi ng Al Jazeera dito, can't you not be a statesman? So we go, no, I'm just a small town mayor. My, my, my mouth is rural. I never took a course of statesmanship. And I do not intend to be one. I just plainly, if you'd call me mayor, I'd be happy because that's almost my appellation. Parang palayaw ko na for the 23 years that I've been mayor of Davao City. Mas komportable ako tawagin mo akong mayor. But wala ako, I serve. What I promised you, I will do. No corruption in government. Tinanggal ko na ngayon ano yung dito eh. As I've said so many stories, and then ako nakatiis, and I have accepted so many courtesy resignations. Most of them sa regulatory bodies. Regulated up to rin yung FTRB, itong mga customs, BIR. But I promise you, it will be a clean government. And I hope to stop drugs somehow and criminality. Okay na, okay na ang bansa namin. Paski ganito lang ako, okay na. Never mind about yung sa labas. Sabi nila, unpopular ako doon sa Europe. Tang, hindi ako mayor ng Europe. Mayor ako ng siyudad noon, ngayon, presidente lang. Pilipinas lang naman, presidente. Okay yan, maraming salamat po. Daghang salamat. Atong tagaag masip.